this for the people that love the drone wood. They said they checked it and everything like that and it works fine. They said all they really did was just clean inside. They just said there was like dust and stuff in there. So we'll see if that's basically the problem. So the ESC air, uh, no longer, it disappeared, it's no longer there. Okay. They turned it off and on a few times. Okay. They test flew it. Okay. Check for any calibrations, updates. Yeah. yeah. So everything's fine. Okay. We do off for 90 days. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so if the same thing happens in 90 days, Bring it back. Snow, but I don't, it shouldn't, hopefully. Right? Okay. I mean, they couldn't make it happen again after yeah. they cleaned everything. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> I, I would do this. Okay. Oh, it didn't work. It says ESC status error. That's a bummer. Yeah, it's a good thing to check it though. I do recommend you get on the yeah. 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 This one's not touching it, but it's like that. Do you just try to touch it? Literally, right now? Yeah, it's probably not. <coughs> ESC error. Yeah, it's the same thing. Okay. And I actually just tested this morning too. Yeah. <laughs> just to make sure. Yeah. 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 And now, okay. oh man. I'm sorry. No, it's here. I, just, yeah. it's, I don't know what's wrong with it. It's like it's just random decides to work. Better than having an air. Right? Yeah, I'm not exactly that's what I'm about it. I was like, okay, something's wrong. Um, yeah, we're most likely going to have just to replace the or ESC. Uh -huh. I can get that done today. Okay. Yeah, so okay. we can come back. What time about? Um, I can work on it immediately. Okay. So just give me like a few hours at least, like, to make sure. Okay. okay. So just do okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. So they said they tested it all in the morning and so forth. Just try to hear. Whoop! Doesn't come on. So they said they basically need to replace the board now, but since I paid for the labor and stuff, they're gonna cover it. The board was about $135 or something like that. So hopefully I can make it on time too. I was actually gonna to go to this event to try that autonomous vehicle. It doesn't start until another, what, three hours or so, but they said they should be able to finish this within two and a half or so. So hopefully I can have that and I'll get down there right away. Now let's walk around for a bit, I guess. In terms of what I've tried, I've actually tried what you guys suggested. I only update that stuff through the PC and stuff, through the, the GGI assistance and stuff like that. So that didn't work and I tried it three times or so. And like I said, it actually worked initially, but then all of a sudden it didn't work. Kind of like in this situation actually, because the guy's like, what is this? I tested it yesterday, this morning he tested it again, it'll work. And as soon as I fired out the test it, again it didn't work. So I basically, they concluded that they need to replace the board in general. Or makes me wonder if it's just an educated guess, like what else could it be, right? It's kind of interesting as he was saying, this is the ESC board to replace. If it was the main board, that thing is like $500. Man, if you had to replace the main board, I don't think it's worth it to replace it, right? You might as well just get something different. Man, am I covered in snow just from all the snow falling from the trees here? It sucks being droneless, huh? So much of this scenery and stuff I can capture. It's for fun, and I'm sure everyone else will enjoy it, huh? I really do need like a funding plan for this hobby, huh? Just, just like that, you just lose all your stuff and I can't do it anymore. Okay. Anyway, it's uh to be flattered, everything works great. Okay. And there's no extra charge for you, okay? Okay, okay. Awesome. I'll just, I'm nearby, so I'll just drop by right now. Awesome. Okay. Sure. Thanks a lot. Okay, bye. bye. So they said something about it's a miracle, it was just a piece of wire that broke loose or something like that, so you don't need to replace the board. Oh, it's even better. Good news. That's it. That's good. Fixed wing tutorial, what? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's awesome so far. You get to touch it all day like this with drones? Yeah. <laughs> perfect to me. We're fine. Awesome. Thanks, thanks a lot. Okay. Okay, so from what was explained to me, there was literally a broken or loose wire, they said. And I was like wondering like, hey, how did that even happen? 
he said it could have just been from the result, I guess, opening and closing it so many times with the drone. So he said he put like a, a new wire or something like that, reinforced it, and everything seems okay so far. That's great. That's actually really good service, actually. Pretty quick, too. That's kind of scary, too, in some ways, huh? How about for a person like me who just buys the drones basically pre made like that? Like, how would you even know something's damaged like that? Imagine flying it and all of a sudden, whoosh, it just falls all in the air like that, huh? I mean, you can't technically make it a habit to open it up and look at it, right? Because it's not void the warranty, technically, if you do that. It does make me wonder, though, if it is the wire and stuff like that, what kind of freak coincidence is that? When I update the firmware and stuff like that, then I start experiencing this. That's still kind of weird. The next station is Columbia. That's it. It makes a no noise. Come on in, you like a ride? All right. <laughs> this is a completely driverless vehicle, as you can see. There's no steering wheels, there's nothing. Indeed. You just want to push the green button, you can be a driver. This one here? Okay. Try this on your own. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there we go. Just like your computer, Sasha. Yeah. Now, as you can see, it's, see what happens? Picking up these guys in front of me, it slows down. Okay. If it comes within five feet, it slows down. Three feet, it comes to a complete stop. Is it based on uh, just a map right now that it's following? No, uh, yes and no. Um, it has a GPS system. Okay. It's called a GNSS. It's active within three millimeters. So how do you manually drive this right now with the beauty sleeping pill? Is it like a wheel? Either? No, right here. Oh, neat. Okay. Yeah. I need to manually drive it and drive with that. Okay. It's like an arcade stick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's just so funny. I'm not, I'm yeah. not even a gamer. Yeah. I am. Just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have about 170 of them right now being used around the world. 170? Really? Holy yeah. cow. They're being used everything from um, one of the most interesting in Florida, where it's being used as a school bus. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's the exact same vehicle, but in a, in a small community. Oh, nice. Yeah, so it's being used in factories, being used at airports, being used in Paris at the towers. Wow. Right. It's actually built in France. Okay. It goes from a company called Easy Mile. And that one actually drives the money back to the traffic? Or? Yeah. Okay, wow. Well. Right now, it's interesting, Ontario this week, it was passed, it yeah. just passed a law to allow uh, autonomous vehicles to drive with traffic. Oh really? Yeah, wow. the first problems we had. Nice. Wow. And as it's turning, the single lights are coming out on the other side. Okay. It's yeah. unidirectional. Yeah, yeah. So now that it's going this direction, yeah. the headlights are on, the tail lights are on back here. Okay. When, and then when we come back the other way, yeah. that becomes the headlights and this Okay. And it all happens on that. Is that just for decoration too, or is that to actually do something? What's that? The <laughs> bus in the front. Oh, the yeah. <laughs> They're asking if you could to town hall. Okay. I don't know if you registered in there yet or not, but if you did, uh, you can get them in there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Make your own. I guess we didn't have kids. So we didn't <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How long can this actually drive for then, non stop? 16 hours. Wow, that's not bad, actually. Yeah. <laughs> so we programmed this to be basically like a bus stop just to show. Okay. We could do it automatically as well. Yes. It just gives us a chance to stop and talk. Okay. And what would happen if there's a wheelchair person? Yeah. They push the blue button on the outside, the unit lowers, and the wheelchair ramp comes on. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, do you want to drive? Just push the green button. Really? Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 
SOS, what would that do? What happens there is yeah. if, um, if you were in this vehicle alone without an operator, yeah. then you had a problem, you push the SOS button. Okay. That would ring, for example, I was the assigned operator, would ring my phone. Yeah. Or computer, mm -hmm. and I could answer from anywhere in the world. Okay. And see you, there's a little camera up here in the speaker. Okay, okay. So we could see you through there. Yeah. And talk to you and talk you through the process if there's a problem. Okay. Or we could take over the I could take over the vehicle from myself. So when are these gonna actually be up? Well, we don't know. Like we, we like I said, we do have 170 of them running. Not we, but the company makes yeah. them. I'm a specific question about the same camera. Mm -hmm. Uh this is the first of its kind of camera. So Transport Canada is a little, <laughs> a little shaky. They take their time, don't they? Yeah. yeah. They're a little shaky as to how we're going to use this in Canada, right? <laughs> so it's going to take some time. Yeah. There you go. Awesome. It's all still very hot. You're very welcome. My pleasure. Throw so beans. Yeah. 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 That was a fun experience. First in Canada too. I didn't even know they approved that like law-wise and stuff like that just recently. Alright, see you guys later. <laughs>